What's up, guys? I'm Osmo991 here. And today we're going to react to Mia Khalifa's husband divorced her because of porn. Apparently, this um girl named Mia Khalifa, who's a um porn star who sold her body for money, and her husband finds she's a porn star and he has divorced her. And she found out that she was a um porn star. And she was with other dudes, and she was smashing them while she was married to her husband. And apparently, he had divorced her. So she's doing all this crying and whining and complaining because her husband divorced her. And she's talking to this man about her divorce, about her being a porn star because she couldn't Stop these men from touching her and stuff. And allowing her to get dominated by these guys. So she let it go on and on and on. And apparently she was overweight when she was a child. And people would laugh and make fun of her. And pick on her, her and bully her when she was younger. So, she had a husband. She was married, right? And she decided to cheat on him with other guys. Wow. She was a porn star. So, this is why I say be careful, man. And I keep saying this. Fellas, stop wifing these thoughts up, man. Because they're not for you. They're for the streets. If a chick don't want to be saved, don't save her, bro. I keep saying this, man. Stop saving these hoes and thoughts, bro. These girls don't want to be saved, man. If your girl is a porn star, leave her alone, man. She's a thought. She's for the streets. If your girlfriend is a thought or your wife or fiance is a thought, leave her alone, man. She's a bird. A bird want to be free to fly out the cage. Let that bird out the cage and fly. She's a bird. This is a definition of a bird here. So this is why I say, fellas, choose wisely. Choose wisely. Pick and choose your women wisely, bro, because they may not be the one for you. So, we're going to react to his video name. Mia Khalifa's husband divorced her because of porn. All right, no further than that, let's watch the video. Let's go through this step by step. How did a girl who was brought by her parents to the United States from Lebanon, your home country, schooled in the United States, clearly smart, went to university in Texas, read history. How did you get involved with the sex industry? Uh, I struggled my entire childhood with weight and I never felt attractive or worthy of male attention. And suddenly my first year of college, I start losing all this weight from making small changes. And once I did that, I started garnering all of this attention from men and I was never used to it. And I felt like unless I held on to it and kind of did what was asked of me or what was expected of me, it would go away. And after feeling what it was like, that validation and, you know, the compliments for the first time, I did not want that to go away. Mm. Do you think there is some sort of wow. post-traumatic stress that is in you from this experience? Yes, and uh, I think it kicks in mostly when I go out in public because the stares I get, I feel like people can see through my clothes and it brings me... ...deep shame. It, it makes me... 
me feel like it makes me feel like uh, I lost all right to my privacy, which I did because I'm one Google search away. Yeah. If you tattoo your face, you're going to face societal repercussions. We all know this. This is not new news. But to not consider with the same degree of logic as face tattoos, to me, is ludicrous. But what she talks about here shows the power of social validation and affirmation. It's literally a drug for the modern woman today, worse than heroin, crack, perks, combined. It's almost as if validation today is the modern woman's god. And it starts from the like button to DMs to looking at all of your other friends and how they're demonstrating themselves on social media to then posting your own hindquarters to social media to OnlyFans and then eventually might get to I actually found an article and I'll look it down below for you guys to review but in it it said researchers found that 29 percent of girls who spend more than three hours a day on social media engaged in self-harm and 31 percent of girls who spent five or more hours per day on social media were clinically depressed among girls who spent two hours per day on social media 19 percent experienced self-harm while 20 percent experienced depression rappers be talking about i got your bit yeah he's right man the research found 29% of girls who spend three or more days, more hours per day on social media engaged in self-harm and 31% of girls who spent five or more hours on social media were depressed among girls who spent less than two hours per day on social media and mail X something oh you something like that apparently when a girl is depressed and she be on social media spending three hours or more on social media Along with talking with her friends online, she will get their experience of talking to other guys on the internet while she's married or when she's in a relationship or when she's engaged. She'll spend time on the internet talking to men when they DM DMing her, DMing her up, when they texting her, when they're trying to reach out to her. When they want to be thirsty for this woman that they want so badly in their lives and they want to smash them. They want to go to a hotel to break these girls' backs while these girls has a husband of hers while she's married. So, yeah, if your girlfriend spends three hours or more on social media on the internet she's a thought bro she's for the streets man she is for the streets bro when she got self-harmed or when she got depressed when she gets stressed out or angry and stuff She'll go text the other guys on social media that's reaching out to her or she's reaching out to them on social media when they have a husband. When you, you, when you got a girl and she's, and she's talking to other dudes on social media, spending three or more hours on social media talking to other men, on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or whatever or OnlyFans, she's a thought, bro. She's for the streets, man. She's not for you. She's for the other dudes, man. This is why I say enjoy your turn, man, and have your fun. If you get into a relationship with a porn star and you find out she got OnlyFans or you see her as a prostitute, or a stripper. Let her go, bro. 
Let her go, man. Get a divorce and break up her, bro. She's for the streets. She's for the highway. She's not for you, man. If your girlfriend or your wife or your fiance has her own fans page and she's a porn star, sell her body on the internet. She's not for you, bro. She's not for you, man. She was never yours. It was just on your turn, man. That's all basically was. It was just your turn. So, fellas, if you have a girl right now and you see she has an OnlyFans page or she's a porn star, cut it off, man. Cut it off. Y'all already know what time it is. Y'all relationship is over. When she's texting other guys in the inbox and other guys text her in the inbox, hit her up like, where you want to meet at? I want to smash you. I want to break your back and blow your back out and all that. When another dude is texting your girl and your girl is texting him back and she want to be with you and smash other guys at the same time, then y'all fellas already know what time it is, man. Y'all already know what time it is. She got to go. When your girlfriend cheats on you with another guy, pack all things, get all her stuff, get all belongings, and kick out the house. Divorce her ass. But this fella, fella did the right thing, man. This fella did the right thing and divorced her wife because she was a porn star. Like I said, if your wife or girlfriend or fiance is a porn star, she's got OnlyFans and she takes another dude, she's smashing them. And you see porn videos of her having sex with other dudes and all that. Banging them. Smashing them. And they're getting their backs blown out and stuff. And they beating up their coochie and all that. Break up her, bro. Break up her, man. Because... You got to charge her to the game, man. Just like if your girlfriend goes to All-Star Weekend on a girl's trip to Atlanta and she says that she's going to see her grandma or auntie and she lied to you about it when she's not only going to see her grandma or auntie in the hospital when she goes to All-Star Weekend to be smashing some other dudes. Y'all already know what time it is. She got to go. Like I said, if your girlfriend's a porn star and she smashed the other dude, she got an uh, OnlyFans page, charge to the game, bro. Pack her bags, get all her stuff, get all her belongings, and put them out the door, put them out the window. And kick it out the house and put it out. And just walk away and move on with your life. Like I said, this is why I say you always got to be careful, man, when it comes to these girls, bro. Be careful when it comes to these girls, bro. That's why I say always choose wisely and pick wisely. Hey, that's the, what, that's the girl they chose out the mirror, and that's the girl you picked out the mirror. So, yeah, if you... Pick out a thought, and you go in for thought, you get thought, whole, ass, bitch, shit. If you go in for thought, and you date a thought, you get whole, thoughty, ass, bitch, shit. That's what you get. Like I said, you get what you ask for, bro. You get what you ask for, man. You don't always get what you want. You get what you need, and you get what you ask for. Just like, say for instance... If you go in a restaurant, right, and order your food and order your drink, and you pick the food out that you think you go like, and you know you're not gonna like it, when you eat it and you order the food, and they bring your food to the table, and they bring your drink to the table that you order, and they bring your um, food and drink to the table that you ask for. 
and you eat that food and you find that's it's not good along with your drink then you're not all like that food you're not all like the drink that you bought and ordered this is why i say you get what you ask for like if you purchase a mango margarita and you drink it and it's nasty to you and it don't taste good to you and you know you're not gonna finish all that um, margarita in a glass, in a wine glass, then you get what you ask for, bro. You get exactly what you ask for. And you know you're not going to like that mango margarita or those um, tacos or burritos. So, yeah. I'm going to start playing back the video. Instagram got your bitch. <laughs> Instagram, I got your bitch. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I know my Christian scorecard just went down for using a profane, <laughs> profane piece of language. Uh, <laughs> you ain't got your Instagram got all y'all, because they going to do it for the gram before they do it to you. They going to send mm -hmm. a picture to the gram before they send it to you. Social media doing more. Kanye Rest is right. They going to send the pictures to the gram before they send it to you. They go sending pictures to Instagram before they send it to you. If your girlfriend is sending pictures of herself naked on Instagram, everybody's going to see that shit, bro. And dudes is going to be commenting and posting on her inbox about an Instagram picture. It's going to go on the internet to the other guys before it goes to you as a husband. And... This is why I say you got to be careful when it comes to picking women, man. You got to be careful when it comes to picking women. If you find out your girlfriend's a porn star, she got her own friend's page, it's time to let her go. You know what time it is. Time to charge her to the game. Send her back to the street. Send her back to the highway. She made a choice, man. She made a decision, bro. When your girlfriend cheats on you with a whole bunch of dudes on a porn video and she has her OnlyFans page, send her body for money and for fame, break up her, bro. Charge her to the game, divorce her. Get a divorce. I keep preaching about this in my video, guys. I keep saying this. Stop wifing these hoes and thoughts up, bro. Keep saying this. Stop wiping these sluts up, man. Because if you do, then you go ass will get ended up hurt and being in pain. And these girls will be playing with your feelings and emotions. And you will be feeling so bad. Then you will be crying like a bitch. But this man is right. Kanye West is right. If you have a girl that's a porn star, she goes send pictures to her Instagram page before she sends to you. I'm going to resume the video. To hurt families than it is to help families, and families Facts, are the bro. key to help. Facts. Listen, as men, we can't live our lives like this. We have to have clear purpose and clear intention. You must strategize your life. This ain't for the short term. This is the long game. That's true. Okay? What you're if you engage what in you're criminal acts true. and our activity, been, do not be surprised if you end up in the penitentiary. If a girl who's a porn star who's selling her body for money her parents is going to get mad at her. It's going to hurt a lot of families. It's going to hurt your relationship, of course. And it's going to hurt your marriage and your engagement. So if you marry a chick that's a porn star, she could be fucking other dudes. She could be smashing other dudes. She could be going to All-Star Weekend, of course, in Atlanta, Georgia, to be getting ran in by dudes. She could be getting run in by dudes. People are going to Run in the girl. She gonna have people running into her. She gonna be getting ran through by other dudes. When you go to the porn star, this is exactly what happens. This is why I say stay away from low-hanging ass fruits, bro. Focus on yourself. Work on yourself. Focus on you. Become a better version of yourself. This is what happens. 
when you don't come a better version of yourself and you don't focus on yourself, you don't focus on you, this is the kind of shit that happens. Your girlfriend will lie to you and cheat on you and play your ass for a fool. I want to talk about your relationship. Oh, okay. Yeah? How... And it's Robert, right? Yeah. How does Robert... This is kind of two problems. How does he prop you up? And is, how does he bring you down to earth? Um, we have actually been having trouble finding that balance. You know, guys, you never have time for this thing, right? Because uh, recently, it's been a little hard for him to reconcile my past, and that has caused some issues in the relationship. And we're working through it and trying to communicate and trying to um, just ease any discomfort or, you know, any... It's really, it's really hard. He, he has never been used to this many eyes and this many voices, and it, it got to him a little bit, and it's been really hard for us to get through, but we're working on it. So the whole propping up and bringing back down to earth, there's a little bit too much bringing, bringing down to earth right now and not enough propping up, and we're just trying to find that balance. For those that don't know, she actually got married, and my guess is is that a large component of what she's trying to describe right here is what inevitably led to the divorce. Speaking of the divorce, she posted this right after it happened. This is what happens when you marry women like this, bro. This is why I say, if your girl is a porn star and she sell her body on the internet on OnlyFans, she's not for you, bro. She's not for you. Ladies, if you have an OnlyFans page and you're a porn star, then you need to end the marriage. Simple. Don't get married. Do not get married. If you're a porn star and you got an OnlyFans page, do not get married. Fellas, I keep telling you, stop marrying these thoughts up, bro. If you see a, a lady who has an OnlyFans page and she's a porn star, don't fall for the trick, man. Don't fall for the trick. And don't fall for these traps. Y'all fellas got to stop falling for these traps, man. I'm telling you. Y'all got to stop falling for these traps. When your girlfriend says, or your wife says she want to work things out, she want to um, fix things in y'all relationship, and she lies to you about it, and she goes to fucking other guys, have sex with other guys, do not fall for these traps. Lead them while you can. This is why I say, these girls are never yours. It's just your turn. Have your fun. Enjoy your turn. Smash and dash. Get in and get out. While you still can before it's too late. I keep telling you fellas, man. And I keep saying this. I keep saying this. Stop wiping these sluts up, bro. You, if you keep wiping these sluts up, you keep not choosing these women wisely, you keep picking out the wrong, wrong kind of women like this, and you don't pick out the right kind of women, and you don't choose wisely like you're supposed to, this is the kind of shit that happens. This kind of shit that happens. Your ass get cheated on and played and fooled by a woman like this. That's exactly what will happen. This is why I say choose wisely, Guys, choose wiser, man. She's upset now. I thought. Truth be told, twerking. if she really wanted it. She's twerking. She, she's married and she's twerking. If you got a girl that you're married to and she's twerking, let her go, bro. Get rid of the bitch. Get rid of her, man. Divorce her. Break up her. If she's on the internet twerking and shaking her booty, get rid of her, bro. Get rid of her, man. Don't wait until it's too late. 
You got to take action and you got to take action now. I'm telling you, fellas. I'm telling you. But y'all be thinking with y'all dicks instead of y'all brains. Y'all need to think with y'all brains and stop thinking with y'all dicks, bro. That's the problem with y'all, fellas. Y'all be thinking with y'all brains instead of... Y'all be thinking with y'all dicks instead of y'all brains, bro. Y'all be thinking with y'all dicks instead of y'all brains, man. Y'all need to stop thinking with your dicks and think with your brains, bro. Think with your brains. Because these girls are not who they say they is. They're not for you, bro. If your girlfriend is cheating on you with other guys, she a porn star, and she got OnlyFans page, and she's twerking on the internet, on Instagram and Facebook, and all those other sites, that's not your girlfriend, bro. It's not your wife. It's not your fiance. She is not your girl, man. If your girlfriend smashing other dudes and she a porn star and she got own fans page and she's twerking on the internet on videos, it's over. Y'all marriage and relationship is over, man. That's why I say charge to the game, man. You got to let a bird fly, bro. You got to let a bird fly, man. Just leave her alone, man. Just let her be for the streets. Just let her get ran in through by dudes. You'll find you a better woman out there. That's right for you. This is kind of, this is the wrong kind of woman he went with, man. She's a thot. She's a hoe. She's a slut. She's for the streets. This is what happens when you marry these hoes and thoughts and sluts up, bro. I'm telling you. This is what happens when you wife these thoughts up, bro. And these hoes, sluts, and tramps up. Different life. Exactly. Even though she found a simp sucker to marry her, irrespective of the volumes of tapes that she had up on the internet and the volumes of controversies that she's been involved in. She could have. She could have changed her name. She could have changed her hair. No one would have recognized her. She could have lived a happily ever after life. But what belongs in the streets shall always return. We're sitting here and obviously there is an event in your life that happened that... I'm sure you're tired of talking about, um, and it has definitely affected your life. And and everyone listening, you may or may not know about that event. We're not here to talk about the event. I almost want to start now, like after this big event, after this this thing goes viral. Who was that girl? The minute that goes viral, and like from then to now, because last night you were saying you're the happiest you've been in your life. To have the most isolating feeling like you're alone you have people sending you death threats you have your family at the time not supporting you damn damn where like where was your head at and like how did you get here today you know what i'm saying like a lot of people wouldn't have been able to get through that mentally and, and your mental health i'm wondering like marriage. where were you mentally post she fucked that video marriage, man. So, sad, for those man. unaware me and khalifa did a video a few years ago it was a in full hijab and got death threats from Muslims all over the world. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, I it is crazy, man. Where I was because that is around the time that I started dissociating oh. and just compartmentalizing. She wasn't thinking everything. straight. She wasn't thinking straight. If a girl is not thinking straight and she don't know what's going through her head, she's gonna jump ship, bro. She, of course, she's gonna jump ship, man. That's why I tell you, fellas. Choose wise. Always pay attention to the signs, bro. Pay attention to the signs, fellas. Look at the signs. Pay attention to the red flags. Do some background checks. Take your time. Take your time. Do some information and some research history on your wife or your fiance, your girlfriend, man. This is why I keep telling you guys. Y'all don't do y'all research history, man. Y'all don't pay attention to the signs of red flags. And you be saying, oh, this girl is the girl for me. She's the girl of my dreams. She's the best girl for me. She'll never chill me. She'll never be smashing other dudes and other guys on tapes and twerking and thoughting in the streets. Oh, yes, yeah, she will. Believe me. 
when your girlfriend's a porn star and she got her own fans page and she's getting ran through by dudes going to All-Star Weekend, believe me, she's going to cheat. She's going to jump ship, bro. I keep saying she's going to jump ship. This is why I say stop going for these long-hanging ass roots. You got to let a bird flock with his feathers. Let a bird flock with his feathers. This is a definition of a bird. Mila, Mia Khalifa is a bird, man. She's a bird. She is who she is. She just showed the whole world who she is. She just showed her husband who she is. She showed everybody who she is. These men showed, even showed her husband who his wife is on camera, bro. So, if your wife sells her body on internet and she got her own fans page, she's for the streets, bro. It is what it is. She, she for the streets. And on top of that, is she a porn star? She for the streets, man. Mila Khalifa is for the streets, bro. I'm telling you, man. Y'all too thirsty for these chicks, fellas. That's your problem. Y'all too thirsty for these chicks. This is why I keep saying don't be a slave to the pussy, man. Don't be a slave to the pussy, fellas. Don't be a sucker for love, man. Don't be a sucker for love and don't be a simp, man. Being a simp, it's not good, it's bad. Very bad. And being a sucker for love, being blind by love is bad too. Don't be blind by love, man. That's why I say enjoy your fun. Have your fun. Enjoy your turn. But don't be so quick to fall in love, bro. I keep saying this shit and I keep preaching about this. Sad situation, fellas. Man, this is a sad video, bro. Sad situation, man. But shh. this lady married the dude because she needed a provider. She needed a simp in her life. She probably wanted a simp to provide for and to give her money to, and to give her the luxury life like cars, clothes, jewelry, and expensive purses and all that kind of stuff. So he could, she could have somebody to take care of her. These dudes were alpha male that's getting ran through dudes. And her husband is a beta male that Who's basically a simp and a sucker for love. He's blind by love, bro. This is why she's taking advantage and walk over him. Because she needs a provider. She's not there because she likes you and she loves you. And she cares about you. It's not because you matter to her. It's not because she supports you and accepts you for who you are. She's there. So you can provide her. You can provide for her, man. You can provide her with the lifestyle that she wants. This is why she picked you out. This is why she chose you out. This is why she married you in the first place, dude. So you can be a provider for her, bro. You are basically a provider for her. Your job is to provide and be her little bitch. This dude was a little bitch. He was Mila. He was Mia Khalifa's bitch. He's a bitch, man. Sad situation, bro. And pretending like things never what? happened to the point where I didn't even talk about for the first like three years after. I just went quiet. Wow. Never spoke about it. She never Anytime talked about I would do an interview. Yeah, because they were serious. They were not wow. allowed to ask me about. I refused to even acknowledge that I did it. And wow. it was until therapy that I realized how dead She's hiding the shit from her husband. She was playing the girl under the rug and hope that they go man. away. That's not how it works. You have right. to face them head on and acknowledge them and talk about them. It's, it's that feeling of like, 
I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to bring attention to it, but I right. need to talk about it because I need to explain myself because everyone is just misinterpreting the whole thing. Right. So it's that catch-22 of not wanting to bring it up and needing to bring it up because it's the it's like the elephant in the room everywhere you go. What were you doing? How do you misinterpret that level and degree of disrespect from a cultural perspective, from a religious perspective? Oh, what? in your life post that video like where did you she go? literally what were you doing? How were you over money? Him, man i was she working as a paralegal her. at a law firm Burn. and then i was working as a bookkeeper at a construction firm Look, and she stepped then all over her husband man. i was like okay i'm tired of living in this 500 dollars a month efficiency she stepped it was all over disgusting. her husband bro sad man this is when you show up this is when you work harder than everyone y'all gonna stop that right there fellas it's sad situation bro if your woman is a porn star and she's selling her body for fame and her body for money, she's for the streets, bro. She is not for you, man. This is why I say you got to be careful out there, fellas. You got to be very careful. Because these girls will play mind games with you. If she's playing you, she's playing the other dudes too. And this is why, as men, as a man, we always got to pay attention to the signs, bro. Pay attention to the red flags. Do some background checks. And do our research history on our girls, bro. Because you'll never know when she's going to cheat on you and lie to you. And play your ass for a fool, man. This is why I say stop falling for these traps, fellas. This is the problem. These fellas keep falling for these traps, bro. And they are too much of a sucker for love. The reason why these men don't leave these girls when they are lying to them and cheat on them with another guy. When they're playing their boyfriends or their husbands or their fiancés. These women play these mind games. When they leave the house and they go fuck other dudes. And after they get finished fucking other dudes, they come back home to their husbands. And they'll keep their husbands a little while longer. Or longer than that. And they'll come home to their husbands and act like nothing ain't happened. And they'll play that good girl role. She was hiding this shit from her husband for the first three years, man. Ever since they got married. Ever since they got in, into a relationship, man. Sad, bro. Sad situation, man. This girl don't want to have... No kind of love for you, man. This girl don't want to have no kind of love for you, bro. This girl just don't respect you, man. She don't respect you. She's mad disrespectful, bro. This girl is mad disrespectful, man. Man, sad situation, bro. She is mad disrespectful. She don't respect him as a man. She walked all over him and stepped all over him, man. She stepped all over his heart, bro. Sad, man. Fellas, we got to do better in 2022, man. I'm telling you, man. We got to do better. This is why I say focus on yourself. Focus on you, bro. And become a better version of yourself. Work out. Hit the gym. Hit the weights. Get your money and finances up, man. Get your money and finances up, man. Get your shit together. If you are not on your shit and you start falling off, then your woman's going to jump ship. It is what it is. Just like I said, fellas, focus on yourself. Work on yourself. Focus on you. Become a better version of yourself. And you'll get better quality version of women. Like I said, fellas, like I said before, if you don't work on yourself, you don't focus on yourself, you don't focus on you, you don't get in shape, you don't work on yourself. This is the kind of woman that you will be attracting, man. This is the kind of woman that you will be attracting. That will come in your lives. And 
make y'all their simps. They don't like you for you. They don't love you for you. They don't care about you. They only want you for your money and your cars, clothes, jewelry. For you to buy them. For you to buy them. And they want to go with you to cheat on you with another guy. And to smash another dude behind your back. These women hook up with these men for a reason. They want simps and suckers for love in their lives for a reason, bro. The reason why they want them in their lives is to provide for them and to give them that luxury lifestyle that they want, that that man can't give them. So, yeah. Like I saying, if your girlfriend's a porn star, she got OnlyFans page, divorce her, man. You know what time it is? Divorce her and break up her. Pack her shit. Get all her things. Get all the stuff. Throw it out the door. Throw it out the window. And tell her, I'm sorry, baby girl. You got to bounce. Kick out the house and put out the house, man. And... Don't get mad at her. Don't argue, fuss, or fight her. Hold your chin up. Hold your chest out and walk with pride, bro. Walk with pride. She made the choice. She made the decision. And just walk away and move on with your life. Yeah, when your girlfriend cheats on you, pack her things, get all the stuff, get all the belongings, throw them out the window. Break up her and kick it her out of your house walk away and move on with your life he did the right thing by getting mad at his woman because he she cheated on him with other guys that she was having an affair with and that she was banging from time to time so yeah i'm out of here y'all peace